Council of Inspectors General on Integrity and Efficiency has a new work group for diversity, equity, and inclusion. The group will work to promote equity in oversight. Sandra Bruce is acting inspector general at the Department of Education. She is chair of the work group. Jay Lerner is IG at the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. He's vice chair of the group. Folks, welcome. Thanks for coming on the program. Sandra, I start with you. What does that term mean, equity in oversight? I know it's not a definitive term, but what does that mean to you and your colleagues in the IG community? In the IG community, we look at equity as equitable access for all, uh, consistent and systemic, fair, just, and impartial treatment for all individuals. And that transcends to our oversight work because we want the public to serve that we serve to also understand that diversity, equity, inclusion is important to us. Jay, why is this important to you and your team, and, and how? what will the work group do to pursue the, the idea of equity and oversight? Right, and I think uh, what, following up on what Sandra said, it really boils down to the opportunities. And we've um, established the group in a way that would look at the internal operations of how OIGs operate within the IG community so that there are opportunities for folks to uh, step forward and to shine and make sure that there is that fairness, justice, and impartial treatment that, that Sandra said. It's something that we're going to try to work on and develop new techniques and um, uh, make sure that it's incorporated into the community as a whole. Sandra, if anybody knows how to audit and investigate, it's a group of inspectors general. How will you take on this task? How will you use the tools and skills and abilities that the IG community has to look at this particular issue? So for the OIG community, this is actually something that we thought we feel like is really important. So while we know that we're getting started, we have some progress, we have some ways to go. So we've actually developing uh, a road, road, mo road map for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, as Jay mentioned about that's going to focus on our people. Uh, we want to make sure that people are getting the right recruitment, development, retention, and advancement opportunities. And then we want to make sure that diversity, equity, inclusion is actually incorporated into our procurement and ac acquisition strategies and that the stakeholders and partners as it relates to oversight. We want all of this to transcend. We know that we also need to make sure that we have uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion competence, right? We are learning day by day. Diversity, equity, and inclusion, it's a journey. It's not a destination. So we need to make sure that we are trained up through speakers, videos, training. We're frequently communicating about it, making sure that we are um, amenable to having those um, difficult conversations. Um, that's what the OIG community is going to do to at least start. Jay, when this conversation started in government a long time ago, it focused primarily around the concept of diversity. Equity and inclusion have been added over time as awareness has kind of, as, as the spectrum, you used the term aperture earlier, as that aperture has widened and people understand more what the different terms mean and how they apply to doing business in the government every day. What exactly will you look at and how will you measure the success of this working group that you are hitting the marks that you want to hit in all three of those areas? Well, one, one project that we're working on, we've uh, issued a survey to the entire IG community uh, to take a look at how, um, what the diversity population is uh, throughout the community in large, medium, and small uh, OIGs, offices of inspectors general. And then that will set, establish a baseline. And then we can, uh, we're can we looking to establish a maturity model to see how it progresses over time, maybe from year to year, and to measure that progress. Um, part of that survey is uh, measuring the perception and the feelings of the OIG community. And we'll be able to gauge the progress over time to make sure that people are feeling included, have those opportunities, and that we have a diverse population. And it'll cover all those areas. Sandra, how will you read the results of that information? What data obviously plays a huge role in what you and your fellow IGs do. How will you analyze that data, and then how will you take action on it? That's a great question, Francis. So as part of our roadmap for diversity, equity, and inclusion, for every focus area, each group is responsible for coming up with metrics to help us measure. So when we take our um, survey that Jay just referenced, we are going to establish that as our baseline. And then each year, we'll actually look to see how that progress is being made. Each um, focus area that we've described here 
will demonstrate how each OIG can actually take whatever action they're taking, such as recruitment. Hey, let's look at the data and let's see if we are doing basic or are we at um, optimal. So we'll measure from the basic metrics that we've established in each of those um, focus areas. Jay, when Sandra talks about looking at this data each year, this that implies to me this is not uh, a working group that you're standing up now and you're going to shut it down at some point in time. This is something that it sounds like is perpetual, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. We, really, we've uh, focused on sustaining the effort, and we want to make sure it continues well, but well into the future for the IG community, and that it sticks um, within the community. Jay Lerner, Sandra Bruce, thanks very much for joining me today. I appreciate your time very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Francis.